Hey guys, Nova Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of Retro Weekend. Today we're going to focus on a classic game from 1993, a personal favorite of mine, Batman Returns on the Super NES. Batman Returns, the movie, came out in 1992. However, the game for the Super NES was not released until 1993. Uh, Batman Returns was released on many different consoles. Um, it was not made by just one publisher. Uh, the Sega version was actually published and produced by Sega, and it is drastically different. It's more of a platformer. Whereas Konami did the Super NES and the NES version. Now those versions were your, your standard uh, Final Fight beat-em-up games. So what we got here today, guys, is the Super NES version, which in my opinion is a superior version to all of the Batman Returns games. And I have never been able to beat this. I know a lot of people have, but I have not been one of them. So, guys, I'm going to uh, try to play through a couple levels here, let you guys see it for those of you who have never seen it, and uh, hope you enjoy it. There's seven levels, and maybe I can get through a couple of them for you. So, well, I can definitely get through a couple of them for you, but just for time purposes, I don't want to drag this on for 30 minutes because I know you guys don't want to be sitting here for 30 minutes. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Batman Returns had these awesome, awesome cutscenes. Uh, had images from the movies, stills from the movies. And I can remember being a kid seeing these. Like I said, this, this game came out in... Uh, 1993 and so I was about 14 at the time and I can just remember thoroughly enjoying uh, the cutscenes thought that was so cool so ambush in Gotham City turn the volume up a little bit here you can bring them together ah Show you some of the really cool moves you can do here. Like grab one guy, get next to another one. I can't do it because he won't get on screen. Got two of them, get side by side, and you can grab them and headbutt them together if I can get it to work. There we go. Ah, now they got me instead. You got your standard, typical beat em up controls. You got jump, punch, you got uh, the ability to throw a batarang, which stuns the enemies. And you do have a super move, which I will show later on here when it when it's necessary. Eh, nothing there, but you got your health pickups and things of that nature. This game is the most faithful adaptation of the movie I've seen. Um, the Sega Genesis version takes a lot of liberties. It's actually kind of supernatural in a way you fight bosses that are stone statues that are alive there are gargoyles that fly around it's it's a little surreal to play the Sega Genesis version but this is a movie faithful version you play as Batman fighting the Red Triangle Circus Gang as well as the Catwoman the Penguin and uh, every, like I said the Red Triangle Circus Gang and all the ones that you saw from the video oh my gosh Come on! And those of you who are better at this game than I am, give me some pointers. I'm terrible at this. I'm usually great at beat em ups, but I just have so much trouble playing this game. And the Catwoman fight is unreal. She can take your health down in no time. There we go. There's that headbutt move. So there are more than just a few moves here. You've got your standard punch combo kick. Well, it's you might throw a kick in, but it's one button for your combos, and then he'll punch and kick and things like that, like you're seeing there. But then you got your you've got your ability to grab them and then smash them into the wall by pushing up in your punch button. Do that any number of times. The level of interactivity is a lot of fun in this game. This was something that you didn't see a whole lot of back in the '90s. So this game actually had some really cool uh, interactivity between the levels. 
I love the design of Batman. He looks almost spot on to his uh, Batman Returns counterpart uh, from the movie. The costume is just excellent. He's not purple like the Sega Genesis version. He is black and he is gray. And I am doing horrible. <laughs> this is so much fun. Such a fun game. And you got your standard jump kick. Or if you push jump and push down in your punch button, it will do like a glide move. I'm going to save that in case it takes some more damage. Um, I love how the enemies in this game are identical to the ones from the movie. You've got your typical clowns. you got your fire breathers. Um, even some of the, the bosses are... Well, all of the bosses that you see were in the movie. It's great. It's great. You don't have any stone gargoyles flying around. Not that I dislike that game. I had the Sega Genesis game, and I beat it repeatedly and thoroughly enjoyed it. It was the first Batman Returns Genesis game I had. But um, sadly, I never was able to have this game as a, as a kid, and I had to play it at a friend's house. And so I never had a chance to master it and beat it. But recently I picked it up again for nostalgia purposes and just because it was a great beat em up and it is truly truly one of the greatest beat em ups of all time probably my favorite to be uh, be quite honest even though I've never beat it it's got to be one of my favorites you got the the overweight clowns that are devastating me in the corner getting a little cheap there You got your motorcycle clowns, all of which were in the movie. It's it's great. It's great. The art direction of this game is superb. It it really captures the feel that Tim Burton was going for uh, with the movie. It it's spot on to the the very gothic tone that Tim Burton had in his first two Batman movies. Uh, whoever did the art for this game did an excellent, excellent job of capturing that feel. Here's something. You see those stone uh, guys in the background? Well, those stone guys are bosses in the Sega Genesis version. They're alive in the Sega Genesis version. That's just how different it was. Okay, now here's a change of pace. It's no longer a punching beat-em-up. This is now almost like a side-scrolling shooter in a way. <laughs> You uh, take them all down with your batarangs. You just throw batarangs constantly through this whole level. Now, if they get close enough, you'll punch them. But, but uh, mostly this is just you just throw batarangs. I'm playing using the Retron 5 controller, and it is terrible. I hate this controller. This D-pad is awful. I really need a Super Nintendo controller, and I will get one before too long. I got a Sega Genesis one, but I do not have a Super Nintendo one yet. So you got your little shooting section here, and a section that I won't be able to show you today because I know we won't be able to make it there is um, there's a driving stage, and I don't want to keep you guys on here for for 30, 40 minutes, but there is a driving stage. Whoa! It's hard to turn left and right on a dime with this Retron 5 controller. But you know what? I'm not here to do a Retron 5 controller review. I'm here to do a Batman Returns review. Watch this, guys. Here's a scene from the movie that I'm going to make happen. In the movie, if you remember, he does that. He shoots his grappling hook into the wall. I don't know how to dodge this guy. I can beat him, but it's usually just me. Oh, there we go. Oh. So wait for him there. And he's gonna... Ah, oh, messed up. Let's see if I can do the super move. There it goes. That's the super move, guys. He throws down one of his capsules. Got him. All right. 
Yeah, that capsule, if you remember, he used in the movie against Catwoman. He threw it at her and burned a hole on her arm with it. Or burned a hole in her arm. Uh, burned a place on her arm, a wound on her arm. So yeah, that's in the that was in the movie and it's in the game too. So let's see if we can do one more level. Like I said, guys, you got the scenes from the movie here uh, played out. It, it's it's a great licensed movie game. One of the rare few in this world. Let's just go ahead and skip this and get on into the into the next stage. Got a new capsule. It does have limited continues, so you will you will run out of lives. You can't just continue infinitely like you can in a lot of games today. This game has some challenge. Also, the grab moves have some variety to them. Watch this, I'll show you. I'll grab somebody and then just hit the button by itself. Well, hold on. If that guy quit hitting me, punch. Watch, I'll grab this guy and watch what happens. He does two punches and a roundhouse kick. Now watch what happens when I grab him and push down and punch. Well, you can throw him. Or actually, not down and punch. If you grab him and push away and punch, it will throw them. So you've got some variety there. You can grab him, hit the button, headbutt him a couple times, kick him, or you can throw him. Ah, oh, no. And guys, I'm playing on easy. This is just goes to show how bad I am at this game. There we go. And you can throw enemies into each other. Standard beat them up fair. But this game just feels good. Throw them into the metal sign and you'll actually hear a, a dong sound. See if I can do it here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, threw them into the park bench, busted the park bench. I love that level of interactivity. This was not something you saw all the time back in the 90s. So Konami, I, I commend you guys. You all did a wonderful job of really bringing this game to life. I mean, you really fleshed this thing out. So if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, Thanks. I appreciate it. I've always been a huge Batman fan, and this game was something that I just admired as a kid. Thought it was just amazing. Never got to own it. Never had a Super Nintendo when I was little. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got the Indian girl. Ah. Now, there is a, a special move here. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. That's a special move you can do. It takes some of your health away. So I don't recommend doing it very often. <laughs> it is a it is a very powerful move, but it does take health away. You push jump and punch together at the same time and and it'll do it. Oh. I wasn't too smart right there. <laughs> Get away! Nice. Save that health. There we go. I find that it's better to do the glide attack on the motorcycle guys than to do the jump kick. Alright, made it. Run, little children. You don't want to go to this carnival. Yeah, the battering doesn't hurt them, but it does stun them on this, on this part.
And there's his grapple gun. Back to another one of the battering throwing sections. I don't know how to avoid getting hit on this. I'm terrible at that part. Uh, now that was the Retron 5 controller that was there. I tried to push to the right and it pushed to the left. Like I said, I am not a fan of that controller. You don't buy the Retron 5 for the controller. <laughs> Here comes a little bit of the, what I like to call a platform section. I'll show you why here in a second. Ah! You look so goofy during this part. Yeah, because Batman sure did this through the movie. Whee! Oh, no! Alright, made it. Alright, then you got the sword guy, so that's cool. I'd probably be doing a, a little bit better. Not perfect, but a little bit better if I had a functioning D-pad. <laughs> but I'm not going to blame it all on the D-pad. I'm just not great at this game. <laughs> I'll figure it out though. I'm, I'm determined to beat this one day. Oh, come on. I think you probably have to kind of do some chip damage on some of them. Just hit and run. Not so much just go toe to toe with them, but just kind of do some hit and run with them. Or stun them. That's it. Yeah. Whoa! Alright, let's stun him. Can I make it through this section without getting hit by the big guy? <laughs> Alright, made it. I'm so stupid. Alright. Yeah, I should have saved it for the boss, but I wanted to show you guys. Just let y'all see the variety that there is in this game for options of things you can do in combat. What if Michael Keaton ever played this game? <laughs> I hope I do not get a copyright strike for this music because I'm pretty sure this is some of Danny Elfman's music. Ah. Alright, time for a boss fight. 
And those of you who have seen the movie, you will remember this guy as the guy that Batman punched in the face a few times, didn't hurt, and then uh, made the guy look down and realize that he had put a bomb in his pants. <laughs> so yes, uh, for those of you who do not know, Tim Burton's version of Batman, Batman would kill people. Unlike the comic books. I think that was a point of contention with a lot of fans. Was that uh, Tim Burton's version was a lot darker. And killing crooks was not something that Batman was against. That seems to be the trick with him. Just fly into him. Ooh. Let's get rid of some of these guys. There we go. Oh, punch me out of the air. Man, I even got his orange health bar available yet. Oh, and that's it, guys. I died. I'm sorry. I thought I might be able to beat that boss and show you, but anyway, guys, that's Batman Returns for the Super NES. Those of you who like retro games, like beat 'em up uh, style games, definitely pick this game up. It is worth a buy. It's worth a purchase, and it's not that expensive right now. I think I got this for fifteen dollars off eBay. Um, so anyway, guys, check out Batman Returns for the Super NES. Check it out for the Sega Genesis. It's not a bad platformer. So anyway, guys, until next time, take care, God bless, and keep on gaming.